What you guys, welcome to Game Take. Are you fed up with that background noise ruining your videos? Well, there is some software out there that can help. It's called NVIDIA Broadcast, and we're going to take a look at it right now after this. Okay, guys, welcome to Game Take. Today, we're going to take a look at NVIDIA Broadcast. Did you know that one of the biggest things that turns people off for of watching your videos is your audio? It's a real difficult thing to get right. It's There's a lot of trial and error and all that stuff. But anyway, there is some software out there called NVIDIA Broadcast that not only can help your audio, it can also help your, your webcam like this one that I'm in here. So we're going to go over and take a look at it. Basically, what you want to do is you need to go over to the NVIDIA website. So we're just grabbing up my browser. And it's already come up for me, but I'm going to show you the page because I've already got it. So if you came across to the first Google search button down, you'll come across NVIDIA Broadcast. You just click download here. It's just an EXE that comes down and you will double click on the EXE, install it, and you get given this, which is your shortcut. So I'm going to open it up now. So when you first open up NVIDIA Broadcast, we're going to come across this part, which is the microphone. Now, in order for this to work with OBS, you need to come into OBS and I'll drag that across. We're going to open up the settings page and if you come into audio, if you come to your microphone, click this one down, you'll see NVIDIA Broadcast. So you need to put that on and then just apply it, click OK. And then on here, you've got to find your microphone, make sure you've got the right one. I already had it on. Right now, because I'm using some other software, I'm going to have to go in and turn that off. So let's quickly do that so now you're probably listening to quite a lot of background fan if you click that on now let's have a listen we should hear that it's got better now you can do the adjustments on here um, for the strength etc I found that it does it does work, but it seemed to have a little bit of interference with my actual system, which is why I'm going to go back to what I was on. But my system is a bit strange. Okay, so that's my rear fur back on. So hopefully, but we'll go into more details about that. Anyway, so you've got that. That's your microphone. You can cut your background noise out. I'm sure you've seen there's plenty of videos out there with people putting hoovers and, and stuff like that. So. This one, you could come over here to speakers. This is if you're uh, playing in game and you've got, you're got you online with a couple of people and they're chatting in their Discord, etc. But in the back of their Discord, you can hear their fans going. You can also shut them off. But the main reason that I, I like this is for this. Now it's going to say my camera's busy. But what I need to do to get the camera to come up, I need to come into my OBS, open up my properties, you can see I'm just on this, but if I come down to here and go for NVIDIA Broadcast. Okay, so once we go over to the camera, you can see it's, my, it's just my webcam. I'm actually in OBS at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look. This is what OBS is seeing down in my left-hand corner. I don't know if I can bring that around to show you. Let's have a look without it going into infinite mental mode. There you can see that I'm down here in the corner on OBS. But one of the features that I like, this has got several features. One of the features is obviously a background replacement. But if we start off with the background blur, then we'll turn it on. You know, there's a strength here that you can adjust the uh, actual strength of the blur itself. So you can blur out your own background. I thought that was mm, maybe a bit too strong there. You know, this is AI doing this, so it's not it's not going to be perfect but that's not bad for a background blur I think that's quite quite acceptable you, you can go really bad and have a real blur but it does throw you at the forefront of it all and, and stuff so that's quite nice I'm going to bring it back to that one just in case I ever decide to actually use it now a lot of people would be using this for background removal because here I am you look on the actual screen down the bottom corner you'll see me down there it's definitely picking some things up. Oh, it's I know what it is. It's the light coming through this window. Right, so there's a little tip for you. If you need to stop light, don't have too much light behind you. You can see there's a bit of a, an outline thing. 
So it doesn't do as good a job as a green screen does, but it's a lot easier to have this set up. But the main thing that I really like this for is background replacement. Now that behind me is just a PNG, which you can change here. So that's part of, I think, the Windows logo. You come to this and we can open that one up. And there I can be sitting in my garden. So I'm sure you get the idea. I mean, you can have a bit of fun with this. These are just some crazy things. There's virtual studio with the news going on behind me. You know, it's a bit of fun. Perhaps just even have a bit of lightning. So, you know, you can go into paint.net or Photoshop and you can create your own basically 16 by 9 little PNGs. I haven't done any of that yet. These ones that I've got in here are all just straight off of a, a site called Clean PNG. And you can go in, there's thousands and thousands of PNGs. I use them for all sorts of different projects. But you can have a little bit of something different going on behind you. Now that's what I will be probably using it for most. So do I recommend it? A, let's go through what you need. You've got to have an RTX 20 series or the new 30 series card. It's free. If you haven't got any other means of doing background noise removal, then I think it's pretty good because it's RTX voice, basically. Uh, I will show you what I use in just a second. I like this background replacement. I like the blur, the removal. Yeah, I can take it or leave it, to be honest with you. I'll tell you one thing there is, actually, as well. I'll just come in and quickly show you. There is this auto-framing feature. It does crop you in a little bit, though. So you, like, can you see the camera moving? It kind of follows you. So if I come over here to the keyboard, it's kind of following you. So if you're a bit of a jump around this sort of person, I don't know if it'll follow you up. It does a little bit. But anyway, it follows you. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll we'll just flick that back because I like me lightning. So yeah, would I recommend it? Yeah, absolutely. I've got an RTX um, 2070 Super video card, which I'm really pleased with. It's been amazing. Yeah, I would definitely rec I would recommend you go for this. I would yeah if you got if you can meet that criteria but what i will show you now is what rear fur is move this out of the way and it's still running in the background anyway so that is one good thing you don't have to do and the other thing you can do is to have rtx the background removal and all that going you don't have to use the voice come across to your microphone come down to filters now i use vsts come to rear fur and open the page and then bring that up you can see that yellow line is actually me now this is a vst plugin from reaper it's a free plugin that you can use i use a lot of their things i use their eq and their compression compression but what what this does is it cuts out a lot of the background noise so what i'm going to show you now is i'm going to set it up as a new thing so i'm going to reset it just for a second and then you have to let the sound in the background sound come through so it analyzes yeah so you click this arrow and let it analyze. And as soon as you uncheck that, that red line stays there. So what basically is any noise that's coming up to that red line, it's cutting out and anything that goes above it is what you're hearing. So that's rear fur. What you do is, and you can hear the difference, I'm going to turn it off. And then I'm going to turn it back on. And we'll come back to the main screen. So you can see it's rear fur is very good. Very, very good. The first time I used it, I was a bit confused. I saw someone using it. And not many people talk about it these days because it's, it's an old plugin, you know. But it still works phenomenally well, if that's a word. Phenomenally. Anyway, guys, I've been Steve from Game Tech. If this has been helpful, why not consider subscribing? And uh, I'll catch you in another one. Bye for now.